Welcome to the Class of 2020 Commencement Celebration. Simcoe County District School Board acknowledges that we are situated on the traditional land of the Anishinaabeg people. The Anishinaabeg include the Ojibwe, Odawa, and Baudouayama nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. We are dedicated to honoring Indigenous history and culture and committed to moving forward in the spirit of reconciliation and respect with all First Nation, Métis, and Inuit people. Please stand for our national anthem. Before we get started with the formal part of our celebration, I just want to take a second to thank a few special people. Firstly, the staff at Bantz Memorial High School, teaching and non-teaching staff who did that little extra to make sure that we make this virtual celebration as special as we can. Secondly, I'd like to thank all the families and friends who stood by our grads to give them support through these difficult and bizarre times. And thirdly, and most importantly, I'd just like to take a, se a, a second to thank all of our community donors. Thank you. At this time, I call upon our Superintendent of Education, Daryl Halliday. My name is Daryl Halliday, and I am honored to be a Superintendent of Education with the Simcoe County District School Board. I'm here to extend congratulations on behalf of Director Blake and the rest of the senior team on this celebratory occasion for you, the Class of 2020. Today marks a special occasion when we take time to celebrate not only where our students have come from, but perhaps more importantly, where they are headed. Whether that's college, university, apprenticeships, the world of work, or other pursuits. By all accounts, you as senior students have made a positive impact on your school. And in these unique times, you have demonstrated both perseverance and resilience, attributes which will hold you in good stead moving forward. I'm reminded of the quote from John Kabat-Zinn who noted, you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to surf. Class of 2020, we are extremely proud of you. We wish you all the best as you move forward to explore your dreams, both educational and personal. Enjoy what this graduation ceremony holds as you certainly are deserving of the recognition that lies ahead. Congratulations one and all. Now I would like to call upon our trustee, Sarah Bites. I am Trustee Sarah Bites, representing the area of New Tecumseh. So this is my graduation speech for 2020 for the high school kids at Banting Memorial. Dearest class of 2020, I want to congratulate you on earning your high school diploma, especially amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And yes, you definitely earned it, maybe more so than any other class that has come before. The 2019-2020 school year has been vastly different than expected. I am sure by now that each of you have realized that life doesn't always go as expected. Each challenge you encounter is an opportunity to grow, for you to choose who you will become. Despite these often difficult days, 
I am filled with hope because of you. I have seen you from a safe physical distance, of course, but you, our youth, have truly been stepping up to help us all get through this. And so I thank you for all the service and positivity you have given in your homes and throughout our community. I've experienced many challenges, many challenges, and I'm sure to experience many more. When challenges arise, the normal busyness of the day-to-day -day is put on hold. I am forced to slow down and I find myself focusing on what really matters. Looking back, I see now that challenges are the catalyst for growth that define your character. I'm gonna say that again. Challenges are the catalyst for growth. And although your final year of high school has been chock full of challenges, it has also been a great test of your character. Graduates of 2020, I have every confidence that you will be caring, cooperative, courageous, empathetic, honest, inclusive, optimistic, respectful, responsible, and live each day with integrity as you continue on life's journey, wherever it may take you. On behalf of myself, Trustee Bites, Chair Lloyd, and the Simcoe County District School Board, we congratulate you on this momentous achievement and wish you continued success and growth in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holiday and Ms. Bites for your greetings. Now I call upon your principal, Mr. Bernardi. Oh yeah, that's me. Hello, Marauders, class of 2020. When you came to Banting in 2016, Hamilton the play was becoming a big smash. Batman vs. Superman was on the big screen. You were walking around playing Pokemon Go and the Summer Olympics were in Rio. And you walked up, uh, you walked the stage at your grade A graduation. Today, theaters and cinemas are closed and we are streaming from home. Instead of Pokemon Go, we are Google Hangouting or Zooming. The Tokyo Olympics are canceled and you are watching your celebration. Yes, the time and situations may be different, but the pride and significance of your accomplishment still are the same. Actually, I know that all of the staff is even more proud of you for persevering through this difficult time, Marauders. We miss you all, and being able to bring to you your signs and caps was important for us to say thank you for these last great four years. We know you will go on to do great things, and we look forward to you coming back and telling us about your journey. Congratulations, Marauders, and we all wish you the best. At this time, I would like to introduce the Banting Moral Award winners. Receiving this award, Maria Katari and Willow Deedles. To present the award to Maria Katari is Ms. Tasinga and Ms. Ritchie. The Moro Award is one of the most prestigious awards at Banting. Two students from each graduating year receive the honor. Successful recipients are students who exhibit scholarship, integrity, and leadership in one or more school activities and demonstrate all equally. Our two recipients are Maria Katari and Willow Deedles. I'm honored to be able to speak to Maria Katari. When everyone from Maria's friend group decided to twin their favorite science teacher, Mr. Wright, she chose to twin me, so I feel I owe her. I've had the pleasure of teaching Maria three years in a row. She's an exceptionally hardworking student. She participates in class and even laughs at Mr. Gillard's bad science jokes and maybe some of mine. Not only does she excel academically, other students look for her leadership. Those qualities extend to her activities outside the classroom. She has volunteered at Stevenson Memorial and Wake Med Hospital. And last summer, Maria had an amazing opportunity to work with Dr. Sandy Raha at McMaster University doing an internship. She was one of 15 candidates selected out of a group of 123 potential researchers. Over her three years at Banting, she has strived to make a difference in the school community. And now I will turn it over to Ms. Caroline Ritchie. From the moment that Maria arrived at Banting, 
She has been working to make a difference, and she has done so to a degree that has left most of us in awe, all while achieving to the highest academic standards. Maria always demonstrates a can-do attitude, whether it be in her role as a peer tutor, helping students navigate their way around the kitchen, collecting hundreds of canned goods for those in need, organizing mental health initiatives and anti-bullying events, and the list goes on and on. Maria is a creative, out-of-the-box thinker who's always up for a challenge and who makes organizing look easy. Recently, when asked to present a project idea to the United Way Youth Advisory of Simcoe County on very short notice, she embraced the challenge. By the time I had a chance to follow up with Maria a few days later, she'd organized a team, created the PowerPoint, and was ready to go. By the way, we were successful in being awarded the grant thanks to her quick thinking. And although this year is ending in a way that none of us expected, Maria's optimism and passion for community service has persisted. She's rallied her peers and continued to support the Banting community by ensuring students have a yearbook. She's supported and created events for Mental Health Week and promoted School Spirit Weeks through various social media campaigns. And while we recognize that these aren't the efforts of one, but rather many, She has played an integral role, as always, at bringing people together for the greater good, something I have no doubt that Maria will continue to do in her future. On behalf of all the staff, we thank you for all of the contributions you've made in helping to create a kind, inclusive community at Banting, and we congratulate you on your academic excellence and wish you all the best on your next chapter. Good luck. And we'll miss you. Presenting the Banting Moore Award to Willow Deedles is Miss Pop. The Moore Banting Award is given to a graduating student who throughout their high school career has demonstrated scholarship, solid student body leadership, exhibits outstanding character and integrity, and has participated in multiple school activities. This year's recipient is an incredible human being who has made a lasting impression on the staff and students of Banting Memorial. What is most impressive about this year's recipient, Willow Deedles, is how those successes were achieved. I met Willow two years ago when she was a peer leader and quickly noted that Willow strived for excellence while being inclusive, proactive, and resilient. Although goal-oriented, Willow always recognized the environment around her. If it was assisting her peers or organizing and leading social awareness campaigns, she did so with compassion, integrity, inclusiveness, and enthusiasm. Willow is a student that is hard to forget. She approaches in her oversized coveralls, fuzzy slippers, and infectious and contagious smile. At a time in your life when it is really easy to compromise who you are or pass on things that interest you because it may set you apart from your peer group, Willow walks to the beat of her own drum. What that beat is, however, I have absolutely no idea, but I respect it nonetheless. Willow is without a doubt an outstanding citizen. Uniquely Willow, she has been an active participant in every aspect of school life. In her four years at Banting, she has played flag football, rugby, badminton, and volleyball while maintaining outstanding grades and demonstrating care for her school, her peers, and community. Nicknamed Wilbear Grills by family for her adventurous and ambitious spirit, Willow is always seeking new ways to chart her own course. When Willow commits to something, she truly commits, and as a result, was recently awarded the OSSTF Excellence in Education Award for Mark's School Involvement and Character. In addition to athletics, she has also been a member of many other extracurriculars, such as Athletic Society, Model UN, Link Crew, Robotics, and Jack.org. Every year, Willow has become more and more involved in her school community, while also being actively involved in the community in which she resides. Her list is diverse, ranging from assisting with the Beaten Fall Fair, Wands for Wildlife, or Simcoe Village and Manor. Willow has a voice. She wants to contribute and she wants to make a difference, which on its own are quite impressive. Her academic achievements are incredible, and in the fall of 2020, she will become a Golden Gale and sport the gold, blue, and red of Queen's University as she pursues a degree in commerce. When it's referenced that the Moro Banting Award winner has to be well-rounded, she's an obvious choice. I've watched her for the past two years come into her own. She has a confidence in her that many wouldn't give her credit for. 
That confidence comes from embracing her quirkiness, knowing who she is, knowing what she wants, exploring new things, and having the character and integrity to do it the right way. What is great to see is that she has grown into someone who is more than capable of laughing at herself. And it's charming to see how much pride she takes in her education, her community, her friends and family. As someone who isn't easily impressed, she impresses me. And based on the fact that she is one of this year's moral banting recipients, it is evident that she has impressed many. I am really excited to see what Willa will accomplish once she leaves Banting. I think that Willa, without a doubt, she will continue to impress others and Queen's University is very lucky to have her. Willow is uniquely Willow and for those that know her, no explanation is required. She will continue to be driven, passionate and loyal while also demonstrating care, compassion and integrity. Lastly, as high school comes to a close, Willow has become more and more comfortable in who she is and what she wants to pursue. And as a result, she will continue to seek out new adventures and learning opportunities. I have no doubt that Willow will be successful in whatever path or endeavor she chooses to follow. And as she moves forward and closes one chapter, she will be remembered fondly by the staff and students of Banting Mamara High School as she chases the new chapter. On behalf of everyone at Banting, staff, students, and your community as a whole, congratulations, Willow Deedles. Okay, the reason why we're here, the graduates of 2020. Before we get started with introducing your graduates, just wanna highlight two things as we go through the celebration. When you see the students going by your screen, you will notice two stars, a blue star and a maroon star. The blue star indicates that they're an Ontario scholar the Maroon Star indicates that they're an award recipient. At this time, I call upon your class of 2020 graduates. Marauders, you did it. Despite all the challenges that lay ahead of you, you graduated. Well done, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hayden Bruce is the recipient of the Alliston Firefighters Memorial Scholarship to a graduating student who combines scholarship, good citizenship, and excellent attitude. Maddie Buchanan is the recipient of the Gavin Marringer Memorial Award to a deserving student who has demonstrated a passion for and involvement in drama. Hi, I'm Quinlan and I'm going to Water Booth for LifeSide. Water, water, water. Blue, blue, blue. Quinlan Bowie is a recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program. <music> Emily Burley is the recipient of the Honda of Canada Manufacturing Award for a student who distinguished herself both in class and through active involvement in school and or community who will be proceeding 
on to post-secondary education, apprenticeship college or university, and engineering or engineering technology related field. As well, she is a recipient of the Banting Memorial Musical MVP Award to a graduating student who demonstrates leadership, strength of character, and has made an exemplary contribution to musical life at Banting as voted by fellow musicians. Congratulations, Class of 2020 from the Tech Department. It has been a wonderful four years teaching you, coaching you, training you, lecturing you, crying with you, and laughing with you. We hope we made your life a little bit better. We know we're better for knowing you. Congrats again. You did it. Hi, grads. It's Poppin Henderson from Business Studies. Hey, grads. Make sure you diversify your investments wisely. We're wishing you the best. Stay safe, be well, and much happiness. Take care and congratulations. Hi, I'm Brianna Caldwell and next year I will be studying kinesiology at McMaster University on a soccer scholarship. Brianna Caldwell is the recipient of the Avery Andrew Memorial Scholarship to a graduating student who has demonstrated strong qualities of leadership, good citizenship and an active participant in extracurricular activities. This student was dedicated, hardworking, approachable and in positive academic standing. Also the recipient of the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 329 Tottenham Wilmer Palmer Memorial Citizenship Award to a graduating student from the Tottenham area for outstanding citizenship and service. Happy graduation you guys. I'll see you at Georgian College in January. <laughs> Gonna miss you. <laughs> Choco is the Athlete of the Year and the recipient of the Gene Somerville Award. Shahari R. Shikari is the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program. Melissa Clark is the recipient of the Stevenson Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Award, the Manton Memorial High School Award of Merit for outstanding contribution to the school. We in the Social Science and Family Studies Department would like to extend our sincerest congratulations to the entire class of 2020. You've persevered through these uncertain times with resilience and optimism, and once again shown us just how adaptable humans are in times of adversity and challenge. Know that you have the recipe for success as you move forward onto your next adventure. Find your passion, have fun, and fulfill your dreams. Be open to new experiences, but also have personal life goals. Know what you want and have some idea of how you will get there. You may have to take a different course, but never stop moving forward. Find ways to be mindful every day. For mindfulness isn't difficult, you just need to remember to do it. Congratulations! Congratulations. Charlotte Coons, the recipient of the Jack Hackett Memorial Award to a grade 12 student going on to post-secondary education in business studies. I'm Mayla Kunick and next year I'll be going to the University of Guelph Ridgetown campus to study agriculture.
Willow Deedles is the recipient of the Moral Banting Award, sponsored by Stevenson's Hospital Medical Staff OSSTF Helen and John Ray, to a graduating student earning an OSSD who has consistently demonstrated scholarship, integrity, and leadership in one or more school activities, either intramural and or inner school. Congratulations, class of 2020. What a memorable journey. I am so proud of your accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2020. All the best in your future endeavors. Dal Rose Dandwar is the recipient of the Wilmot G. Clayton Memorial Bursary sponsored by Seven Star Masonic Lodge No. 285, a graduate who studied at the college level who demonstrated character, ability, and promise. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. Oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, everybody. All the best. Alexander Fleming is the recipient of the Outstanding Success Award in memory of Pauline Fontaine to a graduating student involved in student success programming who through courage and perseverance made significant personal and academic growth. Congratulations guys, happy graduation, so exciting. Class of 2020, congrats, Woo. the drama queens miss you. Mwah. <laughs> Two of us just want to say congratulations, class of 2020. Best of luck in all your next steps. Monica Fournier, the recipient of the Culture All Award for Outstanding Work in the Arts. is the recipient of the Honda of Canada Manufacturing Award for a student who distinguished himself both in class and through active involvement in school and or community who was proceeding on to post-secondary education, apprenticeship college or university, in engineering or engineering technology related field. <laughs> Hey 
Hey there, class of 2020. Mrs. Smith here from the Special Education Department. We all would like to extend a very big congratulations to each and every one of you. It's been a tough last few months and you've all risen to the challenge and demonstrated a tremendous amount of perseverance and determination. Wishing each and every one of you a very big congratulations and wishing each and every one of you all the best in the future. You're off to do great things. Way to go, Marauders. Braden Gretsch is the recipient of the Avery Andrew Memorial Scholarship to a graduating student who demonstrated strong qualities of leadership, good citizenship, and an active participant in extracurricular activities. This student was dedicated, hardworking, approachable, and in positive academic standing. <laughs> Hey there, class of 2020. I know this has been an extraordinary year. Uh, it's probably not what you imagined when you first started here at Banting uh, four years ago. Uh, but it's times like this uh, that makes people uh, stronger and more resilient. Skills that uh, you will definitely be using uh, in whatever future endeavors uh, you choose to follow. Uh, I want to thank you guys for being such great students. One thing I've learned about you guys uh, over the past uh, four years is that uh, you are an extraordinary bunch uh, who have um, the possibility of doing extraordinary things. Congratulations once again. Kyle Hayhoe, the recipient of the Tetra Ninja Productions Award, to a student who has demonstrated significant courage in facing personal challenges. <laughs> Dylan Hyam, the recipient of the Jack Hackett Memorial Award, to a grade 12 student going on to post-secondary education in business studies. <laughs> Congratulations to the graduates of 2020. This is a year we'll certainly never forget. I'd like to say a, a big thank you to my chemistry students for making this a very special year for me. I wish all of you the best in all your future endeavors and goals. Congratulations, class of 2020. And remember, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, but because we do not dare that things are difficult.
Fiza Khan, and I'm part of the graduating class of 2020. Fiza Khan is the recipient of the Beta Sigma Phi Betty Lawson Memorial Award to an excellent behind the scenes worker. Congratulations, all the best on your next chapter. Congratulations, grads. We are so proud of your accomplishments and look forward to hearing about your future achievements. Stay happy and strong, and most importantly, follow your dreams. Adam Korpatwa is the recipient of the Tetra Ninja Productions Award. To a student who has demonstrated significant courage in facing personal challenges. As well, he is the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program. Hi, my name is Maria Katari and this fall I'll be studying Life Sciences at McMaster University. Maria Katari, the recipient of the Moral Banting Award, sponsored by the Narwasaga Foundation Alston Rotary Club, to a graduating student earning an OSSD who has consistently demonstrated scholarship, integrity, and leadership in one or more school activities, either intramural and or interschool. And she is also the recipient of the Rotary Club of Alston Paul Harris High School Scholarship, to a student going on to a post-secondary education who demonstrated leadership in their community. Igor Kovac is the recipient of the William and Kim Ray Arts Bursary to a deserving student who is studying fine art in a post-secondary institution. Eric Kowalinski is the recipient of the Stevenson Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Award, the Bantam Memorial High School Award of Merit for outstanding contribution to the school. Claudia Laver is the recipient of the Charlotte Creswick Memorial Award to a champion of inclusion who through innovative and compassionate deeds benefited and enhanced the well-being of life skills students. And the recipient of the Karen Mulder Memorial Award to a graduating student who combines scholarship, good citizenship and excellent attitude. <laughs> challenges like no other graduating class in recent memory. But stay strong, be great, congratulations. Anna Magistrale is the recipient of the Banting Memorial Music MVP Award to a graduating student who demonstrates leadership strength of character and has made an exemplary contribution to musical life at Banting as voted by fellow musicians. <laughs>
Dalhousie University for Marine Biology. Class of 2020, Geyer's not in track pants? What? We don't dress up very often, Mrs. Geyer and I, but we like to celebrate this very special occasion with you today. You motivated us to be better teachers, better coaches, and now it's your turn to go motivate the world. Have some fun, go on some adventures, and we can't wait to see and hear what you get up to in the future. Congrats to all of you. Good luck. Congratulations, everybody. Best of luck on the next path in your journeys. Natalie McCleary is the recipient of the Canadian Tire Alston Award to a deserving graduate who is going on to post-secondary studies. Rebecca McLanahan is a recipient of the L.P. Keel Volunteer Award to a graduating student who demonstrates exemplary volunteer service throughout high school and has benefited our local community. Ileana Medarios is the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program. As well, she is the recipient of the Artist at the Gibson Award, graduating student who is a promising artist. Danielle Miller is the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending post-secondary program. And the Cheryl J. Walsh Foundation Award to a deserving student going on to post-secondary studies. <music> Benjamin Mitchell is the recipient of the Ontario Principals Council Award dedicated to an outstanding student nominated by the administration of the school. Riley Mitchell is the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program, as well as the Royal LePage Realty Award to a deserving student who demonstrates probably citizenship academic success and is attending a post-secondary program. <laughs> Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. It has been an absolute pleasure to have been part of your learning curve. Since you are our future, there is no doubt in my mind that our future is going to be a great one. Good luck. Hey Banty, it's Justin. I just wanted to wish you all luck next year with all your plans and for the next three years I'll be attending Landon College for Power Engineering. Hannah Mulder, the recipient of the Alliance Agri-Turf Agriculture Award to a student continuing their education in agricultural or related field. Emma Mundy is the recipient of the Stevenson Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Award to a student going on in the medical field. And the recipient of the Governor General's Academic Medal Bronze, highest graduating average on aggregate of grade 11 and grade 12 credits.
Laura Nielsen is the recipient of the Charlie Creswick Memorial Award to a champion of inclusion who through innovative and compassionate deeds benefited and enhanced the well-being of life skills students. She is also the recipient of the Stevenson Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Award, a Bantu Memorial High School Award of Merit for outstanding contribution to the school. Risha Patel is the recipient of the Terry Dowdle uh, Member of Parliament Youth Award. To a graduating student going on to post-secondary studies who has demonstrated leadership at school and or in the community. And the Stevenson Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Award, the Bantam Memorial High School Award of Merit for outstanding contribution to the school. <laughs> Samuel Provado is the recipient of the Zach Maringer Memorial Award to a deserving student who has shown a passion for and intends to pursue a career in automotive technology. person. It's been an honor and a privilege to be your teacher, your guidance counselor, your coach. I wish you a lifetime of happiness and I want you to know that you made a difference in my life and for that I am thankful. Wish you all the best. Be sure to come back and visit. Much love. Ryan Rosniak is a recipient of the Kenneth Inkster Scholarship for Languages, most deserving top French student, and the recipient of the Banting Community Environmental Award to a student pursuing studies in environmental, wildlife, natural resources, conservation, forestry, agriculture, and natural resources law enforcement. Parker Schofield is a recipient of the Terry Weatherup Memorial Scholarship to a student entering a trade, college or apprenticeship over and above community service hours in an outdoor capacity. Passion for the outdoors exhibits great leadership and technical skills. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Best of luck in the next chapter of your life. You are amazing people. 
and it has been an absolute joy to have been part of your high school life. Always stay true to yourself. Bye. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Follow your dreams, stay true to yourself. Well done. Kaylin Scott is the recipient of the Howard Noble Scholarship to a graduating student pursuing business studies in a post-secondary institution. Taven Sharp, Male Athlete of the Year and the recipient of the Jeannie Somerville Award. going to McMaster University for Life Sciences. Hey Marauders, it's Beto here. In September, I will be attending Ryerson University for sports media. Congratulations to the class of 2020. This last semester has been quite a ride. I know it's not what you expected or hoped and it wasn't what any of us expected either, but you, throughout the entire process, you have shown a lot of perseverance, resilience and grit. And you should be so proud of yourself for all that you've done over these last four years at Banting. So congratulations, have an awesome summer and best of luck next year. Ryan Tanner, your Class of 2020 Valedictorian. Kia Tanis is the recipient of the John and Phyllis Darling Memorial Award to a deserving student attending Queen's University and the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program. Aiden Taylor is the recipient of the Lions Club Award to a deserving student going on to college. Andrew Thompson is the recipient of the Wilmot G. Clayton Memorial Bursary sponsored by the 7 Star Masonic Lodge No. 285, a graduate who studied at the college level who demonstrated character, ability, and promise. Hey grads, uh, Phys Ed Department's put together a few inspirational quotes for you. Mine's from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He says, it's really nice to be important, but it's far more important to be nice. Congratulations grads. When you feel like stopping, think about why you started. All the best. Hi grads, Mr. Geyer here. Um, just want to say, find your passion and everything else will fall into place. Hey, Miss Mitchell, don't try to be perfect, just try to be better than you were yesterday. Good luck. Hi, grads. Success is not earned, it is rented, and the rent is due every day. All the best. Hi, grads. Uh, always take a negative situation and turn it into a positive one. Michael Jordan. Hi, grads. In the end, we will only regret the chances we didn't take, Lewis Carroll. So make the most of everything. Miss Allen here. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus. Best of luck in your future endeavors, class of 2020.
Madeline Wade is the recipient of the Stevenson Memorial Hospital Medical Staff Award for Bates Memorial High School Award of Merit for outstanding contribution to the school. My plan for next year is to go to Centennial College for Journalism to become an HS. Kirsten Wells is the recipient of the Boston Pizza Award to a deserving student who is attending post-secondary program. <laughs> Karen Wang is the recipient of the Kathy and Jamie Smith Award to an extended French student continuing French studies at university. Also the recipient of the Helen and John Ray Bursary to a deserving student who is attending a post-secondary program. And the recipient of the Royal LePage Realty Award to a deserving student who demonstrates probity, citizenship, academic success and is attending a post-secondary program. I'm Caitlin and I'm going to Guelph for environmental science. Aggies, here I come. Alexandra Woodley is the recipient of the Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award, certificate for the most community service hours. Next year, I'll be attending Lakehead University for concurrent education with a major in social justice. See you, Banting! Megan Young is the recipient of the Lions Club Award to a deserving student going on to university. And that is the class of 2020. Congratulations, students. At this time, as voted by you, selected by you, I call upon Ryan Tanner, your valedictorian. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First off, I'd like to thank everyone who was able to make this event possible and welcome all family, friends, staff, and the class of 2020 to the 68th commencement ceremonies of Banting Memorial High School. It's a different feeling when you're doing something for the last time, the last day of school, the last time you'll ever be in your favorite class, your favorite teacher, last school sport we played or watched, and the last hello or goodbye to some of the friends we've made over the four years. But we didn't get that or at least we didn't know it was going to be our last. To me that's okay because the last time isn't nearly as memorable as the first. That first class, that first test, first football game and rally, first new friend, first party, first girlfriend, second girlfriend, realizing you have no idea what you're doing. Remember the first day of high school. I met tons of people, I liked all my classes, and on the bus ride home, one of the grade 12s at the time, went to the front of the bus and asked if he could plug his phone in and play some music. So he lets him, and the first song he plays is It Wasn't Me by Shaggy. Uh, the entire bus was singing along and bumping to the music, and from then on I knew that high school was going to be some of the most fun, craziest times of my life. Which, as I look back, was one of the few times in my life I was 100% right. I want to say thank you to the staff and students who made Banting's huge events possible. We had the Banting Games that were all out fun. We had the Copper Cup Hockey Tournament versus COPP. It was always entertaining. We had the Color Run where we all swallowed about a pound of colored core starch. And some of the field trips too that teachers went above and beyond for. Like our three day canoe trip with Miss Ball in Algonquin. When we played manhunt on an entire island and made our own food. Mr. Grease took us camping for a few days in the woods. We got to throw spears at stuff and had the longest bike ride of my life. And Mr. Reese told us how resilient we were for doing the whole bike ride, even though it was that or you can walk. Little did we know that we would need that resilience a year later, when we had to continue to work and thrive through most of our last semester of high school when a pandemic tried to stop us. Although it's a tough way to end our last year, we did it. The best part of the trip is always the journey. The journey shows you the best of times, the worst of times, and it really humbles you. It also shows you growth and how far you've come. Colin Firth once said, 
There's nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Street poet and philosopher Drake once said, In my next life I'm trying to stay paid. When I die, I put my money in the grave. I know that we live in a very materialistic society, and although I do want every single one of you to be successful beyond your wildest dreams and change the world, just remember, as Iron Man once said, no amount of money ever bought you a second of time. We've all worked very hard in the past four years, and it doesn't get any easier. We need to stay resilient, and remember to enjoy yourself and live a little. I used to watch a comedy TV show called The Office. You may know the show. It's a fake reality TV show following the lives of people who work in this particular office. And in the last episode, Andy, one of the characters, says, I wish there was a way of knowing you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. And that is all I could think about while trying to write the speech. So I want you to all keep making great memories, keep pushing, keep striving, and change the world. Always remember that you're braver than you believe, you're stronger than you seem, you're smarter than you think, and more resilient than you know. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Thank you all, and congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. <laughs>
Thank you, Ryan Tanner, for that for those words. Graduates, before the evening comes to an end, I ask of you one last official duty or task. Please grab your cap and on the count of three, give it a toss. One, two, three. Congratulations, Marauders. Hope to see you soon. Deep in the heart of the